Greetings, friends and viewers. Today is December the 31st, New Year's Eve of 2019. Some of you have already noticed that my YouTube videos have disappeared. That's temporary. I assure you, that's temporary. I don't know what form they're going to come back in, but this is a temporary situation. I'm sure you've already heard by now about the FTC and COPPA and how it's affecting YouTube. The more videos I watch about it, the more confused I am. The only thing everyone seems to agree on is I'm not a lawyer. So they're not entirely sure that they're giving out good advice. So I'm not going to even attempt to do that to you, but it made me think, what if COPPA does spell the end of YouTube and everybody's YouTube channels just cease to exist? I started uploading videos to YouTube in 2010. Some of the very first ones that I did were a panel that the Disney Parks merchandise team gave at one of the Star Wars Celebration events in 2010. And matter of fact, that's where my uh, channel name comes from because on a Star Tours CD uh, where you've got Captain Rex as one of the characters, I included the song Rex the Robot Mechanical Man. And so my name being Alex, uh, Rex the Robot became Lex the Robot, and there you go. So from 2010 until present, I have been on two if not three different home computers as I uploaded things. There were things uploaded from the drives. There were things uploaded from external hard drives. We had one external hard drive die and things were lost. And then on occasion, I would just do a one take video and directly upload it to YouTube without editing it. So those are only on the camera chips. But the really problematic bunch of videos were my summer of 89 videos. This VHS tape marked Ghostbusters Too Damn Hyped and it contained five plus hours of interviews and commercials and promos and things having to do with the release of Ghostbusters 2 that summer. So I set out to transfer all of this to a digital format so that I could upload it to the internet. It was kind of a tricky process to do that. I hooked a VCR up to an older digital camera of mine which took digital hi eight tape and that had the red, white, and yellow RCA ports on the side that would accept the cable from the VCR. But even at that time, in 2011, those digital Hi8 tapes were getting a little hard to come by. So what I would do is record an hour's worth of the stuff on here onto that tape and edit a few and upload them. And then when I got to the end of that digital Hi8 tape, I rewound it and taped another hour's worth of this stuff. That means that I recycled that tape five or six times. There is no digital archive of the summer of 89 except for what exists on YouTube itself. And I thought, man, I, I don't want to lose all that work. I don't want to lose all those videos if something were to happen to YouTube. So what can I do? Well, I could download them back off of YouTube onto the computer. And then I looked. I had over a thousand videos that I had uploaded since 2010. The bulk of them came in the last two years. The funny thing was, from 2010 until 2018, there were only 500 videos uploaded total. January of 2018, when I created the My Ghostbusters Pet Peeves series, boom, I started uploading 8, 10, 12 videos in a day sometimes. So the remaining 500 had all been in the last two years. Now, most of those videos from the last two years, they're okay. They're archived on my computer because I would edit them and save them and upload them. So they're right there in a file on the computer. Although there were still some one take videos that would be on camera chips, but those should still be around here somewhere. Again, though, you see, there was no one source of a backup for my YouTube channel. So guess what I asked for for Christmas? This is a Seagate Backup Plus Portable Storage Drive. It's a backup drive. So starting December the 27th, just a couple of days ago, I began saving every one of those thousand plus videos 
onto this little tiny device. It was quite interesting though. I thought, well, I need to start at the beginning and work my way forward and then just tick them off one at a time as I go so I know what I've got. When you watch eight years of videos compressed over the span of two days, you become cognizant of a few things. Number one, uh, my kids grew up way too fast. <laughs> Number two, I got really fat and really bald. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping in 2020 I can do something about some of those. Uh, the maybe, maybe this, not that, not how big my kids got, but... Now, when you're sitting there spending hours staring at a screen, saving, 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 you get kind of hypnotized, and after a while you go, I don't know what I've done and what I haven't. So it became prudent to click every one of them to a private setting, so I knew exactly at a glance where I was on the list, and I wasn't leaving anything out or overlooking anything. So that's why everything has disappeared in the last couple of days. My hope is that once we get past January 1st, 2020, when we implement this COPPA thing, everything's gonna be fine. My channel was never monetized, I should be okay. But I did notice a few along the way that YouTube had said were made for children. Usually they were videos of Muppet stuff where I had used a song from the movie and they got flagged as made for children and I thought, well, this is no big loss. I'm just gonna go ahead and archive this and delete it off the channel. I deleted maybe five things total. So if you can't find some of my videos right now, don't worry, that's a good thing. They're all still there suspended in a xenon mist. But if you can't find them, that means not only are they still technically on YouTube, click to a private setting, but they have been archived. They have been backed up. Now the people that I feel bad about are the folks like uh, my buddy Gavin. So, hey Gavin, Lex is still here. He will be back someday. If not on YouTube, you'll find him somewhere else. Hey look, your dad sent me something right before Christmas and I have yet to open it. So I'm gonna open this now for you. Okay, let's see what's inside here. Oh, cool. Merry Christmas, wishing you peace, love, and happiness. Oh, that is awesome. Cool. Thanks, y'all. And I got another Christmas card from Rancho Obi-Wan. I did not get one from Lucasfilm this year, which makes me kind of bummed out, but I don't really know anybody at Lucasfilm, and I do know Steve Sansweet, so that's pretty cool. He's the one that got me the... Uh, the job writing for Star Wars Insider. All right, cool. Him and his whole crew, and it's got Obi-Wan on the cover. Now, I had videos that I was planning to make. I had a follow-up that I was gonna do about my Rudolph recreation. Now, that's one of the ones that kind of worries me because it did get flagged as made for children, again, because of the music that I had used in it. But when it came time to deleting that one, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. Number one, it had thousands of views since it had been uploaded, and it had hundreds of comments by people telling me how much they enjoyed it. So, hopefully setting it to private, I won't get a fine from the FTC about it. I was gonna do some more filming on it this year and try to finish it, but then something else happened that prevented me from doing that, but I won't go into that in this video. But I did procure at least one extra figure that I'd never had before. And I've got some Ghostbusters prop stuff that I've been amassing that I was gonna do some updates on a few projects with those. So, Lex the Robot is not going anywhere. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen, but don't worry, Alex. I'll have it all figured out by the time we reach the new year. What's that? The new year. You actually got that? Wow, good job. Good job, Debbie.